Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello, Try without this. Hello, good evening. Now, can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Can you listen to me now? Yes. Hello, good evening. Ah, okay, that's perfect. Hey, welcome to the class. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, that's great. Is it rainy in the place you live? Is it still rainy in the place where you live? Yes, it's, dry. it's raining, teacher. Ah, okay. It has been raining the whole day, right? Now we can see that it's winter. Winter has already started. Okay. Do you remember last class? The last class we were studying common illnesses, also the question what's wrong and what's the matter? Do you remember some illnesses? Some common illnesses? Who remembers some of them? Yes, I remember teacher the what matter is the same the what is the problem. Okay. And do you remember some illnesses, some common illnesses that we studied the last class? Algunas enfermedades comunes. We studied that topic last class. Yes, for example, flu. Good evening. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Welcome to the class. The flu. Which other one? Headache. Headache. Okay. Headache. Okay. Thank you so much. So we are going to remember some of them in the following exercise. We are going to have a review of the last class tonight. So just give me a second. Here is the presentation for tonight. Tonight, we're going to study giving advices, dando consejos. Now then we're going to learn about imperative sentences. Just a second. Okay, I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. This is the topic for tonight, giving advices, and we are going to learn about imperative sentences. And this is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperative sentences. That is 
our goal for tonight. So let's go with this tonight. Look at this, what's the matter with hair? Look at the first picture, what's the matter with hair? Or what's wrong with hair? What's the matter with hair? What's wrong with hair? Cabbage, cabbage. Okay, heavy. The flu, heavy. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. No sé cómo se dice. <laughs> ah, okay, well, let's say in Spanish. Mejor de muela. Okay. Alguien se recuerda dolor de muelas en inglés? Toothache. Toothache. Excellent. Thank you. So, ahora, ¿cómo digo? Ella tiene dolor de cabeza. Do you remember that? Do you remember that sentence? How do you say that in English? She had had she. She had had a. Okay, we are in, here is the sentence. She has a headache. She has a headache. She has a headache. Let's see the next. She has a cool. No, <laughs> the flu. Okay, she has the flu or she has a cold. She has a cold or she has the flu. Excellent, thank you. Let's see the other one. What about this one? She has a stomach ache or she has a belly ache. Ella tiene dolor de estómago, tiene dolor de bien. She has a stomach ache, she has a belly ache. And the last one, ¿cuál sería la oración? ¿Cómo sería la oración? Tooth ache. In the last one, we are going to have this. She has a toothache. She has a toothache. Then we have the sentence, she has a headache, she has the flu, she has a stomach ache, or she has a, a belly ache, and she has a toothache. Any volunteer to practice reading the sentences tonight? Who wants to participate and read these sentences? Who wants to help me? Any volunteer? Just one. I know that it's Monday, but me teacher. Let's try to help me. Thank you, Edma. She had a headache. She had the flu. She had the stomachache. <laughs> no, es que se me se me traba ahí, teacher. She has a tooth. Ay, se me fue, teacher. It's like tooth ache. Tooth ache. Tooth ache. She has okay. a tooth ache. A. Okay, much better now. Tooth A. She has a tooth A. Thank you so much, Edma. Any other volunteer to practice in this part? Who wants to practice? Who wants to help me? Me, teacher. With you? Thank you. Me. Can I start, please? She has a headache. She has the flu. She has a toothache. And she has a stomach shake. Stomach ache. Thank you so much. Headache, stomach ache, and tooth ache. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer, the last volunteer in this part, who wants to participate? Who wants to help me tonight? Me, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Uh, she has a head check. She has a the flu. She has a stomach, stomach match. Uh, she had the two twitch. Thank you so much, Juan. Okay, now let's see the pronunciation of this word, headache. She has a headache. She has a stomach ache. Stomach ache. She has a tooth ache. Tooth ache. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Okay, what's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? In the first picture, what's the matter with him? He has a diarrhea or he has a stomach ache. And the second picture, what about the second picture? What's the illness? What's the matter with him? 
He has a backache. Okay, thank you. He has a backache. I'm sorry, I have the other one. Is that is the sentence? He has a backache. And he has a sore throat. The last one. He has a sore throat. He has a diarrhea or he has a stomach ache. He has a back ache and he has a sore throat. Any volunteer to read these three sentences, please? Just to practice. Who wants to help me? Any volunteer? Hello? Then I'm going. Okay, thank you. He's. He has a diarrhea stomach. He has a sore throat. And he has a back back ash. <laughs> Me cuesta. Okay, thank you so much. That was very good. Very good try. Thank you. So a stomach, we say a stomach ache. Stomach ache. He has a back ache. Back ache. Stomach ache, back ache. Any other volunteer? Who wants to try? Uh, me, me, teacher. Thank you, Alejandra. He has a diarrhea, is stomach, he has sore throat, he has a back ache. Okay, thank you so much. Stomach ache. Back cake, thank you. Very good try. Then the last class we studied these two questions: what's the matter and what's wrong. And we have two options to answer this question. Subject plus the verb have plus noun. For example, I have a cold, she has a fever, they have the flu, he has a headache. Or we can answer using the subject plus the verb feel plus an adjective. I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. So we can answer using these two. Podemos contestar de la siguiente manera, utilizando el sujeto, el verbo have y un nombre, el nombre de la enfermedad. O podemos utilizar el verbo feel. Necesitaríamos la siguiente estructura. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Un sujeto, el verbo feel y un adjetivo. Y acá están los ejemplos. I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. Any volunteer to read these examples? Me. Thank you so much, Fatima. Okay. Um, have a cold. She has a fever. They have the flu. She has a headache. And I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. Thank you so much, Fatima. That was an excellent try. Thank you. Just the word headache. 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 Head and ache. Headache. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer to read the sentences using the verb feel? Who wants to try reading the sentences with the verb feel? Feel. Thank you, Juan. I feel harmful. She feels terrible. He feels bitter. I feel stressful. Okay, thank you. Just don't forget to add the S here. In the third person, we have to ask the S, right? Because it's third person of the singular. Don't forget about that. So you say, she feels, he feels. Thank you very much. Do you have any question about this? Teacher, is this is better or better? Better. He better. feels better. Any other question in this part? Okay, thank you so much for your help then. Let's go with the next thing here. 
Okay, we are going to read this a small conversation. It's about the Dr. John and Mrs. West. So look for new vocabulary in this small conversation. Is there any word that you don't know what is the meaning? Or what is the pronunciation? Let me know, please. No questions about vocabulary? Okay, if you don't have any question, let's see this conversation. So you say, hello, Miss West, how are you? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know, I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's stay a look at you. Okay, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with Mrs. West? ¿Cuál es el problema con Mrs. West? Any idea? Stressful teacher. She has stressful. Ah, okay. She says, I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. Estoy exhausta. Why are you so tired? ¿Por qué está tan cansada? Le pregunta la doctora. And she says, I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. ¿Les ha pasado? ¿No pueden dormir por las noches? Sí, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. yes. And the doctor says, okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, voy a revisar. A few minutes later, Unos minutos después, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner, okay? And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. So now let's see, aquí le dio unos consejos. ¿Cuáles consejos le dio? Do you have any idea which are they? No tiene no. que tomar café. No tomar café, no, café ni, té, ni té, ni sol. Ok, y el otro consejo fue. Don't work too hard. Thank you so much. Don't work too hard. So these uh -huh. are some advices that Miss West has to follow. Don't drink coffee. ¿Qué sentiría si el doctor le dice eso? Don't drink coffee. Don't. Oh, man. Eh. Sad teacher. <laughs> Very sad. Do you like coffee a lot? Yes, I love it. Yes, my I favorite drink. coffee. Like coffee okay, coffee is your favorite drink. Yeah. Okay, so probably you are going to suffer, right? If the doctor said that to you, don't drink coffee. What about soda? Don't drink soda. Oh, no. no. I don't. No. Soda, <laughs> no. And the other one, don't, don't drink tea. No tome tea. Don't drink tea. Oh, Anything else? Uh, nice. ¿Qué hay del siguiente consejo? Pueden seguir el siguiente consejo. Don't work too hard. Ese sí, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Ese sí, dice. Don't work too hard. It's, no trabaje de más. Sí, sí. Pero que nos paguen. <risa> si le decimos eso al jefe como que no le va a gustar mucho don't work too hard no, no <risa> yes un, un día le digo a mi esposo dice el doctor que estoy muy estresada y que necesito desestresarme necesito vacaciones, descansar y te dio el cheque mi amor me dice para que te vayas de vacaciones <risa> <risa> Qué triste verdad <risa> Okay, but it's important, right? It's important that you get relaxed in at least one day of the week, aunque sea un día por semana. It's important. Your body needs that. 
So these are imperative sentences. Estas son oraciones imperativas. Look the first one. The first one is take one pill every night after dinner. Es una oración imperativa. What is the meaning of that phrase? Take one pill every night after dinner. Any idea? What's the meaning of that phrase? Que se tiene que tomar la pastilla después de la cena. O antes de la cena. Oh, it's after it means. Antes o después. Después de la cena. Okay, thank después. you. Después. Thank you. Tome una pastilla cada noche después mm -hmm. de la cena. Sí. El siguiente consejo o la siguiente oración imperativa in this conversation. Don't drink coffee, tea or soda. That is an imperative sentence. Don't work too hard is the other one. No trabaje demasiado. Son oraciones imperativas. And that is the topic of the conversation. Don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado. Let's go with the next slide here. Here are some examples of imperative sentences. The first one, take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed, drink lots of juice. Estos consejos, hay que hacerlos. Take a pill every four hours, rest in bed, drink lots of juice. Son oraciones imperativas positivas. They are imperative sentences. Positive imperative sentences. Si hay una recomendación que usted no debe de hacer, Necesitamos utilizar don't antes del verbo. Lo podemos ver en los siguientes ejemplos. We can see it in the following examples. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Look at this one. Don't stay up late. ¿Quién se queda despierto hasta muy tarde? Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. And I have here another example. Positive verb plus complement. Solo necesitamos un verbo y un complemento to make positive imperative sentences. Look at this. Drink lots of water. Eat vegetables. Take an aspirin. Solo un verbo y complemento. ¿Por qué no tienen sujeto? Se supone que todas las oraciones imperativas van dirigidas al pronombre you. Es como usted, ¿verdad? haga aquello, usted no haga eso. Usted haga lo otro, usted no haga aquello. Entonces, you van dirigidas para el pronombre you. Tú o usted. Drink lots of water. Tome muchísima agua. Eat vegetables. Coma vegetales. Take an aspirin. Tome una aspirina. Negative. Para hacer una oración imperativa negativa, algo que no debe de hacer, utilizamos don't, bear, las complements. Look at the examples. Don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't eat too much. Don't drink soda. O sea, significa que no deberíamos hacer eso. Don't eat too much. No coma demasiado. Don't stress. No se estrese, ¿verdad? Keep calm. Relax. Don't stress. Don't drink soda. No tome soda. En English, I'm sorry. En English, soda o soda? Soda. Don't soda. drink soda. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any other question in this part? Questions, questions, any question? No, teacher. No? Okay, thank you. I need a volunteer to read the examples here. The first examples, any volunteer to practice? Me, teacher. Can you please read this example? There are six sentences there. Thank you, Juan. Uh, take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed, drink a lot of juice. Thank you. Who wants to read the negative imperative sentences? Any volunteer? 
Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Can you please? Don't work too hard. Don't stay up later. Uh, don't drink soda. Thank you very much. Any one of you to read this other one? Positive. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Ana Margarita. Being low at water. Read the vegetales, pero no sé pronunciar esa palabrita. Vegetables. 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 Okay. Take in aspirin. Take an aspirin. Thank you so much. Very good try. Thanks a lot. And the last one, any volunteer to read these last three sentences? Negative imperative sentences. Be teacher. Thank you, Edma. Don't, don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't drink soda. Don't Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's use imperative. Using imperative. I have a headache. I have a headache. ¿Cuál podría ser una buena recomendación? Utilizando oraciones imperativas. I have a headache. ¿Qué le recomendarían a alguien que le diga, I have a headache? Tengo un dolor de cabeza. Take a pill. Ok. Eh, take an aspirin. Take an aspirin. Ah, okay, take an aspirin. Let's see, I have, a, I have here some advices, some recommendation for this person. I have a headache. Take some aspirin, rest a lot. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. ¿Es también esos consejos para alguien que tiene un dolor de cabeza? Yeah. Yes, let's see. Yes. yes. What's the matter with the following person? Oh my God. Someone says, I have diarrhea. What are some recommendations or some advices for this person? Don't eat, Don't too, eat much. too much. Thank you. Don't eat um, too much. Any um, other? Up to the month. <laughs> Take some peptoimo. <laughs> okay, let's see what I have here. In my example, I have is stay at home, drink lots of liquid, and don't eat too much. Stay at home, drink lots of liquids, and don't eat too much. At home, drink lots. Let's see the next. I have a cough. I have a cough. Tengo tos. ¿Qué le daba la abuelita para la tos? I have a cough. In my example, I have this. A cough cider. Cough cider. Don't drink cold drinks. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat ice cream. I see. Very <laughs> good. Don't okay. eat ice cream. Okay. I need to volunteer to practice in the first conversation. Uh, to volunteers to practice in the small conversation. In the Me first. Teacher. Thank you, Juan. And anyone? I need one more. Sí, teacher, Eduardo. Ok, thank you, Eduardo. Juan en Eduardo. Go ahead, please. Okay. Juan, I can head, you please start? I had a Take some aspirin, rest a lot. Don't use it your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Now it's headache. I have a headache. 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 Yes, headache. headache. Let's go with the next one. Who wants to participate in the second conversation? Okay. 
I have um, diarrhea. Diarrhea, stay at home. Stay. Oh. Teacher, me. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, stay at home, drink a lot of liquid, don't eat too much. Thank you so much. And for the last one, cough. I have a cough. Cough, Cyro. Any volunteer to practice? Take cough, Cyro. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat ice cream. Thank you, Byron. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Then, look at this. All of them are imperative sentences. Todas estas recomendaciones han sido escritas utilizando oraciones imperativas. Look at this. Stay on aspirin. Rest a lot. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. I have a diarrhea. Stay at home. Drink lots of liquids. Don't eat too much. I have a cough. Take off syrup. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat ice cream. All of them are imperative sentences. Look at this bird. Do you know the meaning of this bird? I have eat, sleep, walk, rest, go, smoke, listen, watch, relax, work, work. Podrían hacer una oración, una recomendación utilizando uno de estos verbos. Who wants to try? For example, teacher, don't eat too much. Okay, thank you. Don't eat too much. That is a don't good. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. Any other, you can choose whatever where you want. Whatever way you want. Well, Wash yeah. your hands. Thank you so much. Wash your hands. It's a very good recommendation. Wash your hands. Any other? Don't work hard. Okay, thank you. Don't work too hard. Thank you. Any Don't other? smoke cigarettes. No sé cómo se pronuncia cigarrillos. Cigar. Cigar. No. Don't smoke. Don't smoke cigarettes. Okay, thank you. I sleep too much. Don't sleep too much? No duerma mucho? <laughs> sí. Okay. Don't stretch too much. Don't, Don't stress, stress too, much. too much. Okay. Don't stress too much. Don't go to party. Okay. Don't go to parties. Está bien esa recomendación. No vaya a las fiestas. Don't go to parties. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have the following example. For the very eat, I have this one. Don't eat fast food. Is it a good advice? Don't eat fast food. No pizza, no hamburger. No soda, no french fries, no chocolate cake. So don't eat fast food. Sleep, don't go to sleep too late. Well, 30 minutes. Don't stress too much. Go for a run. Don't smoke. Listen to your doctor. Wash your hands. Relax. Don't work too hard. As you can see, incluso solo el verbo puede ser una oración imperativa. Like this one, just relax. Relájese, relax. What the hell? Any question in this example? So I need a volunteer. Who wants to read the first three sentences? Who wants to read them? Anyone? Me teacher. Thank you, Edma. Don't go to sleep too late. While create 30, 30 minutes, don't stretch too much. 
Thank you so much. The next three, who wants to read the next three? Me, teacher. We go you. for a run. Hi. Don't Hi. smoke. Hi. Listen Hi. to your doctor. Thank you so much, Byron. And the last three, please, any volunteer to practice in this part? Me, Me teacher. Wash your Thank hands. You. Relax. Okay. Don't work too hard. Thank you very much, Emma. Thank you so much. Juan, do you want to read some of them? No, not. Okay. No okay. Problem. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, again, all of them are example of imperative sentences, negative imperative sentences, and also affirmative imperative sentences. Okay, now look at this. I need one volunteer who wants to participate. I need one volunteer who wants to participate. <laughs> oh, you are going to choose a number and you are going to find an illness there. And you have to give me an advice using an imperative sentence. Debajo de los números hay las enfermedades comunes que ya aprendimos. Usted va a encontrar una de ellas y tiene que darme un consejo, an advice using imperative sentence, utilizando oraciones okay. imperativas. Okay. It's difficult. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Let's try. Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Me okay, teacher. Juan. Which number do you want? Uh, number two. Okay. Two of eight. Two of eight. Ah, take a pill every four hours. Okay, thank you. Take a pill every four hours. Thank you. Don't don't ring. Uh, no, don't. Who? Sí. No, no sé cómo decir bebidas heladas. Don't ring. Cold. Cold, cold drinks. Cold. Drink. Okay. Don't drink cold drinks. Thank you. Me, teacher. Edma, number, which number do you number, want? Number four. Number four. Okay, let's see what is under number four. Cough. Oh. <laughs> Cough. Uh, es positiva. Say a twenty on negativa. Oh, puede ser negativa o afirmativa, no problem. Okay. Take a, take a drink tea. Oh, ¿Cómo se dice caliente, teacher? Hot oh, tea. Hot, perdón. Entonces, take a drink, no, take a drink tea hot. O oh, es hot tea. Ay, teacher, ayúdenme. It's like this one. Drink a hot tea. Drink a hot tea. Drink a hot tea. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Any other volunteer? Number five. Number five. Okay. Let's see what is under number five. Diarrhea. <laughs> Don't eat fast food. Okay, thank you. Don't eat fast food. That is a very good advice. Thank you. Any other volunteer? I still have a lot of numbers. Help me. Any volunteer? Number seven. Number seven. Thank you so much. Under number seven, we have stomach ache. Don't drink milk. Don't drink milk. Thank you. Don't drink milk. It's a good advice. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Se pueden repetir if you want. You can choose again. One. Okay, let's see what is num under number one. We have cold. Resfriado, cold. Yeah, 
Drink a hot tea. Drink a hot tea. Yes, thank you. Any other number? Any other volunteer? Come on, guys. You can do it. I'm sure that you can. Help me with this. Choose one number. Number Anyone? 15. Number 15. 15. Number 15. Let's see what is in there. Number 15. A fever. Fever. Ay, oh yeah. Uh, take aspirin. Okay, take an aspirin. Yes, it could work. Thank you. Take an aspirin. Anyone? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Let's see who. Number 11. Okay, thank you. Number 11. Let's see what is under number 11. And we have stress. Stress. Don't work. Don't work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado. Thank you. Anyone? The last two, the last two person. Number three. Number three. Let's see what is under number three. And we have back age. Back age. Back age. Relax. Rest and relax. Okay. Relax. Thank you. The last one. Uno más. Number 10. Number 10, let's see what is rash, rash or allergy. Um, Hello. Go to the beach. Oh, no. Sería, don't go. Sería don't, don't, go. Don't, don't go. go to the beach. Don't go to the beach. Tiene así picazón en el cuerpo. Mejor no vaya. Es que la sal le va a hacer daño. Don't go to the beach. Y el sol también. The sun too. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions about this? Questions? Okay, if you don't have any question, let's continue there. Here we go. Hey, repeat, repeat, please, please. Oh, no. which one? I don't know, go the beach. Oh, I, Seria, don't go, don't go to the beach. I don't go, to, don't the go beach. to the beach. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we have this reading part. Let's see, I have a chat message. Eh? Okay, thank you, Cristina. Gracias por avisar. 10 simple ways to improve your health. We are going to read a lot of imperative sentences in this. So look at the first one. Any volunteer to read the first one? 10 maneras para mejorar su salud. And it says, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. Eat breakfast. Okay, thank you. One. Okay. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives your energy for the morning. Okay. Thank you. So eat breakfast. That is the advice. Eat breakfast. Siempre desayune, ¿verdad? The second one. Any volunteer to read the second one? Me, teacher. Number two. Okay. Go for walk. Walking is good. Exercise. And exercise is necessary for good health. Thank you very much. So go for a walk, right? It's a good exercise. Number three. Floss your teeth. Mm. 
it says, don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. No, se, no solo se cepilla. También utilice hilo dental. Hilo dental. Uh, drink a cup of water every day. That is number four. Any volunteer to read number four, please? Me. Um, okay, thank you, Alejandra. Drink a cup of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Okay, thank you so much. And number five, stretch for five minutes. Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Stretch for, straight for five main minutes. The stretching is important for your muscles. Muscles, okay, muscles. muscles. Thank you very much. So, estirese por cinco minutos, ¿verdad? Stretching is important for your muscles. And number six. Any volunteer to read number six? Wear a seat belt. Every year, she will say thousands on life. Okay, look how yeah. important. Look how important is to wear a seat belt. Ese es, utilice siempre el cinturón de... Seguridad. De seguridad, right? Number seven. The sun time to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword pose or read a new book. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you. Do something to challenge your brain. And eight, number eight. Here is another good advice. Any volunteer? Anyone? It protect your skin, proteja su piel. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Hay que usar crema hidratante y también bloqueador solar, ¿verdad? Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Number nine. Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Cristina. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like your work, milk and cheese have calcium. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And the last one. Me, teacher. Thank you. Take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Okay, thank you so much. Now tell me which one of these simple ways to improve your health do you practice? ¿Cuál es de estos practica? Any of them? Number one, teacher. Number four and number five and number one. Okay, number say two. number four, number eight, and number one. Okay, that's excellent. Eat breakfast, drink a cup of water every day, and protect your skin. Very good. Now, I have a couple of questions for you about this reading. Here is the first question. Read that then and answer. What can we do for challenging our brain? What can we do? What can we do for I play Sudoku. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. Number seven. That is number seven. Yes. Do a crossword puzzle. Very good. Or solve Sudoku. What does our bounce need? According to the reading, what does our bounce need? Calcium. Oh, number nine. Number nine. Thank you. 
what is good what is a good exercise to stay healthy what is a good exercise to stay healthy number two. number two. number two uh -huh. uh, number five Number okay, five. number two, number, number five. five. Okay, good. And how much water do you need to drink? Number four. A cup of water every day. Okay, that's excellent. The next, what can you do in your time out? What can you do in your time out? Number 10. Yes, the answer is in number 10. So do something different. Get up, walk, or sit down, listen to music, right? So you need to take like 20 minutes every day to have your time out. Which practice say love of life? Number six. Okay, where are number six? six. Wear a seatbelt. Very good. So now let the all of the sentences in this simple ways to improve your health article are imperative sentences. All of them are advices using imperative sentence. Do you have an equation? Yes, I'm a customer. Yes, I'm a customer. <laughs> it was difficult. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the next part. We are going to have a conversation practice. So who wants to participate in number one? It says, I want to have a healthy life. And here are some examples of imperative sentences to answer this. Eat a healthy diet, eat lots of fruit and vegetables, don't eat fast food, drink lots of water, don't drink too much caffeine or sugary drinks like soda. Who wants to participate? I need two people to practice in that small conversation. Me, teacher. Thank you, Christina. And any other volunteer? I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Okay, Alejandra, thank you. Cristina and Alejandra, no hay problema si se equivoca, don't worry. Okay. Um, inicio yo con la primera. O yes. vamos A y B. A y B, please. Okay. I want to have a healthy life. Eat a healthy diet. Eat a lot of fruit, fruits and vegetables. Don't eat fast food. Drink a lot of water. Don't drink too much cafe caffeine and sugary drinks like soda. I always feel tired and sleepy. I don't know go to sleep too late. Go to bed and white cook. I do some time every day. Then dance and bed also. Then I check your phone from babe. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. Don't worry. So it says I always feel tired and sleepy. Siempre me siento cansado y con sueño. So it says, yeah. do not go to sleep too late. Go to bed and to wake bed. up at the same time every day. Don't eat in bed. Also, don't check your phone from bed. So those are some advices, right? Hey, sure. Yes. How do you pronounce caffeine? Caffeine. Caffeine. Sugary? Sugary. sugary is the correct yes sugary drinks okay okay thank you so much do you have any question
No questions? No. Okay. So let's practice. Let's suppose that Edma has an illness. Usted tiene una enfermedad. And we are going to give you some advices. So, Edma, you have to say, for example, I have a stomach ache. Okay. Uh, okay, teacher. I have a stomach ache. Okay, give her some advices, please. Give her some advices. Uh, um, I don't understand the people, please. No, in, in Spanish, please. Ah, ok. Usted va a decir que está padeciendo de alguna enfermedad y sus compañeros van a darle consejos para que se mejore o que, que debe de hacer okay. o que no debe de hacer. Utilizando oraciones imperativas. Ok. Trust me, I have a cold. I have a cold. Have Edma, a cold. Edma has a cold. ¿Qué puede hacer ella? ¿Algún voluntario? Take a hot tea. Ok, thank you. Drink a hot tea. That is a good one. Drink a hot tea. Any other advice? Just don't eat ice cream. Ok, don't eat ice cream. That's a very good advice. Don't eat ice cream. Take a pill, for example, tapsin. Okay, they up that thing. Very good. Thank you. They up that thing. Any other advice? The last one. The last one, please. Any other advice? Do I tell? Drink tea. Okay, drink tea. Thank you. Ahora, Byron, you are sick. Dígale a sus compañeros, what's wrong with you? What gram do you? Oh, no. Eh, imagine que está padeciendo de alguna enfermedad y sus compañeros le van a dar consejo a usted. I have a headache. Okay, Byron has a headache. ¿Qué puede hacer? Don't eat too much. Okay, don't, don't eat too much. Don't drink milk. Don't drink milk. Okay. Es mala leche para el dolor de cabeza. Teacher, is headache, dolor de cabeza. Ah, ok. Headache, tiene dolor de cabeza. Don't watch TV. Don't watch TV, ok. Don't watch TV, thank you. El último, uno más. Hey, drink aspirin. Take an aspirin. Thank you, Eduardo. Take an aspirin. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Eh, don't forget about the platform exercises, please. ¿Quién completó la sección 1 y sección 2? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Me, teacher. And three. Tell me. Exam. This week finish number three, verdad, teacher? Okay, during this week, we need to work on section number three. Okay. Me. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me. Uh, thank you for your help. Thank you for your participation during the activities tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye.